Welcome to Web Beyond Systems. I am Abhishek Patel. Uh, in this video, I am going to talk about the automation tool called Playwright. It is developed by Microsoft. But before I start, I want to inform you or want to share the motivation behind picking up this tool. The first reason, the primary reason is it supports Java. So if you are like me, coming from extensive Selenium WebDriver and Java background, working with the Playwright is definitely going to be fun. Second is, it is open source, so you can use however you want, wherever you want, whenever you want. It's a free, completely free. Third is, it supports the modern application like React and Angular. Also, it has the smart feature of auto timeout and auto wait. Uh, and also, it has a, this uh, codeless or scriptless automation, so record and replay feature. And uh, also, it has this inbuilt feature of recording the test run, so very beneficial during the time of debugging of test. Okay, so it has more features, many features. And uh, let's uh, dive deeper into the Playwright and explore all those features. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start. So let's pull up the Playwright documentation. So I'm going to type Playwright with Java. And the first link is the GitHub link, which we don't want to click on it. And here is the link which we are interested in, playwright.dev, okay, getting started. Installation, Playwright is distributed set of Maven modules, okay, so we want to create the Maven project in our Eclipse and add this dependency which is here in the pom.xml, okay. Alright, so here is my Eclipse, I am going to create the project new project project maven and next maven simple next player test finish all right so here we have player test project and inside the form.xml, we want to add the dependency of Playwright. Okay, so guys, do not copy it from uh, this example. Instead, go to the Maven central repository and search for Playwright. Search. And this is the one we are interested in, Playwright main library. Java library to automate Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. And go ahead and select the most latest dependency. Copy it and paste it under this dependencies tag. Okay, it's downloading now. And meanwhile, I'm also going to add test ng library. Okay, copy it, go back and under the dependencies tag, add it. Control A, Control Shift F to format it, Control S. Okay, so, all right, so we have, let's open the dependency and see if it already added or not. Okay, it did add it, the player added, okay. So go to the source test Java. Okay. And let's start. Okay. Like public void launch browser. Okay. Let's go back to the documentation now and let's look at the example here. 
Okay, so it seems like we have to create the object of the playwright. Okay, so you, we can use it like class.create method to create the playwright object. Play playwright playwright dot create. Okay, so once we create this playwright object, our next step is to create the browser okay so browser type so now playwright playwright dot chromium and as you can see it is coming from this browser type class so I'm going to refer it to the browser type class browser type Okay, so now we have a browser type too. Okay, now we have browser type. So our now next step is to select the type of browser. So browser type dot. What what do we want? Is it like Chromium? Okay. We already selected the uh, playwright.chromium, it's a browser type. So now what we want to do with the browser type, so we want to launch the browser type, right? So browser type dot launch. And as you have as you may have noticed, the launch method is coming from the browser class. Okay, so let's refer it to the browser class. Browser, I'm going to name it as a Chrome. So browser Chrome. Okay, import browser yeah let's do it and so okay so now we have a chrome instance so chrome dot navigate okay yes okay let me open up this okay so we also want to create the page object Okay, that's a browser dot new page. Okay, let's do that. Page page equal to Chrome dot what was the method name was new page. New page. Okay. And now let's import the dependency. Okay, and now we want page dot navigate and let's try to automate this selenium easy website copy this go back to your eclipse paste in here Control save. Okay, now let's try to run it. But before that, I have to provide this S tag. And now let's run this. Okay, it started running. taking some time sometimes it just download the dependency if it is missing from the playwright as you can see playwright build of chromium downloaded to this location so if any dependencies are missing it is first it is going to download it and then it's going to run it so the possibility is it may take some time for the first test case to run but the subsequent test will run faster and this is only one time okay let it download okay it did run uh, and it ran fine no failures now one thing I want to inform you is that by default playwright launches the browser in a headless mode 
so we have to we have this uh, boolean tag where we want to set it as a false for the headless because by the default it is headless is true okay so let's make it false so that we can see the browser on our screen so inside this uh, browser.launch here we want to create the object we want to pass the object inside the constructor so new browser type dot launch options dot set headless okay and here we want to provide false so we are telling our playwright to launch a browser in a headless not in a headless mode okay so headless is false now let's try to run it again and this time we would see the browser chrome browser okay as you can see we can see the chrome browser and it opened the selenium dot uh, the, the url okay and also do not forget to close the browser okay that is good okay so uh, yeah that's it in this video in the coming videos i will talk more about uh, filling the forms and all the different actions that we can perform using the uh, java and playwright okay so uh, before i end if you need a software tester or any software testing help please contact me my email is apatel at webionsystems.com okay then see you next time